We're trying to introduce the students to the concept that the chemistry of life, that is what we usually think about as biochemistry, is really connected very deeply to other chemical disciplines such as organic chemistry and even astrochemistry. And in doing so, we're able to introduce the students to the concept that the chemistry that makes up life on Earth could actually be happening at places all over the universe. What we knew from the literature and experiments we had done in our own laboratory, that the production of adenine, one of the bases of RNA and DNA, um, can be done uh, in relatively mild conditions. Uh, strawberries uh, were attractive because they actually have eight chromosomes, so they have lots of, or eight copies of each chromosome, so they actually have lots of DNA, and so that translated uh, to getting lots of adenine out of the reaction. The most of the times the students, they don't have a connection between one type of science to another type. Like they study the biology in the freshman year, and when they come to the sophomore year, they take another science chemistry. So the biology teachers stop with their biology part of it, and the chemistry teachers, they teach only chemistry. But the teachers are not able to show the connection in between those two. So we thought that by this, like these are the experiments, we can show the connection, what it lies between biology and chemistry. So if you are able to show that connection which lies in that, we felt that the students would remember that more and then it would help them to improve their scores and also develop some kind of interest in the sciences. I thought it would just be like an ordinary class where we just like, work with the teacher and to have someone from Georgia Tech um, come and show us like some of these experiments was just a remarkable experience. Understanding how life began, or trying to understand how life began, is one of the most fundamental natural questions for all human beings to ask. And I think that the students, if they're not pondering this question in their classroom in high school, at some point in their life, they're going to ask this question. And so I think it's important for us to introduce them to the science, the actual chemistry, as being used to explore this question.